hallelujah happy new year everybody god bless you i hope you have been doing great and this season and this year has started with good news for you hallelujah praise god how did you start your year everybody do you decree upon your year have you spoken words have you prayed for your year have you prayed for your plans have you decree words this season upon 2024 now it is very important how we start the year i want you to join me i am having a 40 days prayer it started already on the second of January we are praying for 40 days decreeing and speaking forth and believing in prayer in declaration in the Word of God the success of our plans of everything we want to do in this 2024 I want you to send me a DM and also send a comment section down this video and I will be able to add you to the group hallelujah God bless you I'll share something really truly amazing and blessed with you hallelujah so Basically, one of the most crazy spirit that is walking about now is the spirit of deception. The church is being deceived. Many of our brothers and sisters are trapped into the spirit of deception. And how does the spirit of deception work? The spirit of deception work through, through what we see and what we speak. Now, it is very important. I will show you something. The Bible says something in the book of Ephesians chapter 5 verse 6. Go with me. The Bible says, let no man deceive you with vain words. I will always say words are seed. How does the spirit of deception get to get rulership over the earth? Through public words, through the media, the social media. You have even films. You have even whatever entertainment that is how the spirit of deception spread the bible says something let no man deceive you with vain words let no man deceive you with vain articulated words this is going to christians who are right now be on your guard for the kingdom of god is at hand be on your guard in this 2024 we are going towards the last days and the last moment the spirit of deception is all over the earth has filled the earth there is two medium for deception through your eyes and through your mouth the words that come out from your mouth you watch out every word that come out from your mouth and you watch out whatever you're saying hallelujah let's read the scripture it says for this for this that is verse 5 it says for this ye know that no warmonger no unclean person no covetous man who is an idolater had any inheritance in the kingdom of christ and of god in six this is where i concentrate it says lord no let no man deceive you with vain words for because of these things commit the wrath of god upon the children of disobedience this is the message with god wants me to tell you this season do not be deceived do not be deceived always get your eyes fixed on what god is about to do now listen to me before the spirit of the deception is being poured upon the earth by the enemy now he was a deceiver from long time ago he deceived eve in the garden of eden as a matter of fact now he has devised more medium for you to be more deceived and to be swayed out of the purpose of god hallelujah i pray that this 2024 it will not be you in the name of jesus hallelujah amen deception i see that walks in the church in two ways it comes as a result of asking and uh, you know many of the christians come to the pastors right now to complain about their series and series of problems which was caused by their own sinful nature by their own disobedience of god's word and you see the pastors are there trying to reserve council meetings instead of evangelizing instead of organizing evangelism to go to the ends of the earth to preach that is a spirit of deception that is gripping its roots into the church Many of those Christians that have several problems is because as a result of their disobedience, they are disobeying, they disobeyed God's voice. Listen, I'm not saying this unkindly, but I'm saying that there are many Christians that are caught up with sinful habit, which they reap out what, what they sow. If you sow something, you will reap the benefits of out of it. 
and you bring that and you go to the pastor and spend hours and hours and crying and the pastor is there concentrating to pray for you meanwhile the pastor should be concentrating to reach out to more souls meanwhile it is as a result of your own bad sinful and disobedient habit many of us have not been able to discern because we see that it is a problem of the church we see that it's a problem of one of my my christians that are sowing too much in the church or one of my main uh, partners that are the main partner in the church why she was caught up in a sinful habit and whatever she saw she reaped now that is a repercussion i don't mean to be unkind but i am only only saying that many of us are caught up with this spirit of deception which cause delay to of spreading the word of god there was a problem in the church in the early days and the people had a problem with division of the food now it, 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 the apostles they said we, we should not leave the word of god to serve tables but what is happening right now is the reverse People are leaving the word of God. They are leaving to serve and micromanage the church. Many of the pastors are leaving many important things they need to do to micromanage things that are in the church, to micromanage people's problem. To my, that is not the center. Things that are weightier matters other than that particular thing that is happening right there. I am a prophet of God. I'm telling you one thing, that that is the spirit of deception. It is a strange spirit that has hit the church. And secondly, many people are focused on the seed, the tithe, and whatever financial gains that comes upon the church. The pastors now are concentrating to micromanage the church, micromanage people's problem, preach on the same problem and trying to change the habits. Meanwhile, we should be focused. Give other people the assignment to do that. Meanwhile, you concentrate on spreading the word throughout the ends of the earth. Hallelujah, God. That is the first medium which the spirit of disobedience, uh, 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 which is the devil, has gripped into the people, using the people to, 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 to delay the, the work of God upon earth. My number two is the spirit of deception will use the words that come out of your mouth. This is bringing me back to Joshua. In Joshua 9, you read the story with the people of Gibeon. They devised all those plans and Joshua had pity upon them. Joshua gave his word. Oh my God. Joshua gave his word with pity. Joshua spoke out of pity because they came in a very sad way. They spoke and they cried and they, he saw even their clothes and their food. He felt pity for them. Meanwhile, that was a, dis, a dubious plan. That was set up. Now, whatever come out from our mouth out of a situation, we should be mindful of. And because of that, there was a great, great consequences that happened. Because Joshua did not sort out to ask God what to do with the people. He saw and felt pity for them. Now, the spirit of deception will, not, will clot in itself now to have pity upon us, especially with the religious leader, to come in the, in the form of a beggar, to come in the form of a, a, a woman that is helpless or a man that is helpless, or they will come in the form of a submission to submit under your ministry. But meanwhile, those are people. Don't be easy to give out your word. This season, I am telling you, Joshua fell into this and Joshua gave his word that he will not destroy them. And that was the mistake Joshua did. And he had a lot of consequence to pay back for. So the spirit of deception will want to get you to your word. Because he knows that every word that comes out from the righteous man's mouth must be backed up by God. But be careful with what appears in front of you other than the reality. Everything this season, I want you to double check it. Have evidence. Beyond every reasonable doubt, ask God if this is what you should do. The spirit of deception is upon the earth so mightily. I want you to take God. And one of the most important things I will tell you is that be watchful. Have the spirit of discernment no matter what. Everything you're about to do. Because not all those that appear in front of you are who they say they are. Hallelujah. Praise God. The third point is the spirit of deception walking in our flesh. It is very simple right now. We see the social media, every 
post every art you see a woman's part of her body is naked now it's become a new normal all those things are not normal we see like it is normal but it plays in the mind of the people gives a message the spirit of loss seduction Jezebel spirit now all those things are the spirit of deception playing out in the social medias deceiving us bringing and trying to activate our flesh which we have worked so hard to kill and let the spirit take over you see a lot of people masturbating you see a lot of people getting to to please themselves in all kind of bodily pleasure more those things kill the spirit it activates your flesh hallelujah that is something which we have to be very watchful this season hallelujah god bless you i pray this 2024 that you will be a product of change you will be a product as an evangelist i pray the lord bless you to empower you with the grace to carry his word throughout the ends of the earth this season and not be caught up with the spirit of this de deception this season hallelujah you i pray god is going to uplift you above every loss and the spirit of deception that is hovering around the earth in this moment i pray that god is going to put his hand upon you and guide you and keep you safe in jesus mighty name amen praise god